taxes, sent after hearing dates had already passed, issued for dates when courts were not in session, and in some cases for court dates that literally did not exist. Just weeks ago, President Trump said he was temporarily postponing the, the raids to give Democrats and Republicans time to find a solution on certain immigration reform. Now, for more on these raids, I spoke with Jonathan Haggerty of the R Street Institute. He specializes in criminal justice reform and national security and has contributed to several major publications like the Washington Post, the Huffington Post, and the American Conservative. What rights do these undocumented immigrants have in this situation? Um, is President Trump right in being able to deport people for missing a court date? He's certainly within, yeah, to answer your question, he's within his legal justifications. Uh, most of the, or all of the 2,000 uh, immigrants uh, have a formal order of removal for missing their court date. Um, so the question is not so much as whether he can, it's whether he should. Uh, I come at this from the perspective of a, a conservative think tank. We happen to think that this is very bad policy from a conservative perspective, and that it's actually quite bad for public safety. Um, this is, you know, when law enforcement has scarce resources, they simply can't arrest everyone. Uh, and so when you crack down on immigrants for simply missing their court dates, particularly when many of them have families with them, uh, that strikes me as a misuse of law enforcement resources. The ACLU and others have filed a lawsuit against the Trump administration. They're arguing that the government has been mishandling some of the legal matters in this. Will that stand up in court? Oh, I think so. So part of, uh, if we're talking about the same lawsuit, ACLU is suing them over their zero tolerance policy, um, which was the basis for family separations uh, that Trump ended via executive order last summer. Oh, but, uh, I'm, actually, but I'm actually referring to the um, recent lawsuit on the expected rates. But are you saying the same thing? Sure, yeah. So, well, they're related. Um, but as, as it pertains to the raids, uh, I, I'm not sure what the legal justification for Trump not being able to pursue this would be. Um, it certainly would be without much precedent to do it in the way that he's doing it. Um, but I do believe he's within legal justification. It's more of a question of, is it prudent policy to do it? How realistic is it to pull off this operation targeting at least 2,000 undocumented immigrants? Uh, it's certainly realistic, uh, but to me it strikes me more of, and this is something that I think the Trump administration would admit, uh, this kind of show of force is really to act as a deterrent uh, to try and scare people away from coming illegally in the future which to some extent has some merit. Uh, the issues that research shows recent illegal immigration is driven by conditions in the home country. So anything that our law enforcement does to try and scare people away will not be as scary as what's going on in their home countries, nor should it be. Would it be a better use of resources to uh, give those home countries more financial support? I can see that uh, as a possible uh, revenue for increasing the situation, but I think a lot of it just has to be um, unfortunately, something that, that is fixed over time. I don't know that there's a, a silver bullet for what's going on in the Northern Triangle. Um, I can tell you that this is very likely to, uh, you know, I work on, on law enforcement policy in particular. These kinds of raids have been shown by research to entrench distrust between the communities that are uh, affected by them and law enforcement. There's a, a recent survey that came out last year that showed prosecutors and police felt that their job was made more difficult by these kinds of policies because immigrants are afraid to come to them with police reports, uh, to work with them on investigations, and even to show up in court and testify. John Haggerty, I appreciate you coming on and talking about this with you. Hey, thanks for having me. President Trump's hardline policies is setting up another clash between his administration and major cities, among them Chicago, which does, does not intend on cooperating with these raids. Mayor Lori Lightfoot says her city won't let ICE access police databases. That means that they will not team up with ICE to detain any resident. We have also cut off ICE um, access from any CPD um, databases, and that will remain permanent. I don't want our immigrant um, uh, residents to be fearful of being in Chicago. I don't want people not going to work, pursuing their daily activities. Are their children being fearful that their parents are guardians.